Hey everyone, Baron here, welcome back to another gas mask video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Chinese TF1 gas mask. Specifically, the TF1 under the GB2890-1995 standard. The TF1 gas mask was developed in the 1960s as a basically improved model over the Chinese Type 66 gas mask. The Chinese Type 66 gas mask was a sort of clone of the Russian SHM-41M gas mask, but it featured either a basically translucent valve assembly or a white plastic valve assembly. Of course, normally the white plastic valve assemblies would be the Albanian produced or the Albanian export models. But the TF-1 features a either gray plastic, as you see here, a black plastic, or again, also a white plastic, but that was only for certain manufacturers for the valve assembly. The TF-1 was actually issued sometimes to the Chinese People's Liberation Army or the PLA, but the Chinese police, industrial, and civilian market were very, very popular with this mask. This sold quite a lot under those markets. The manufacturers for the TF-1 mask include, but are not limited to, possibly, Tangfen, Tangshan, Shandong, Xuanqiu, and Tangren. I am. I apologize. I apologize, Hazim, if I butchered all of those, but that's the one I'm reading from my Instagram post. Um, this is a U.S. export model, as seen by the English stamping on the box for this mask. This is quite uncommon. This is a pre-2009 dated kit for the TF1 mask, which is not that common. Uh, this one is dated, I believe, November... Nope, hold on. Possibly November of 2001, as seen on the filter. I, I, it looks like October to me, but of course, Hazim knows best. <laughs> he knows all about this stuff. But, as you could tell, the face piece is a very, very dark color. It's a much darker beige than the normal white rubber on this uh, Tangfen, Tangfeng TF1, this is a, uh, 2012 standard. Okay, I may be getting this wrong, but I believe the standards for the TF1 mask will be GB2890-1982, uh, I may get that wrong, I'll put it here if I'm wrong. Then it would go GB2890-1995, 2009, then 2012, and then, of course, last year, it will be the uh, GP2890-2024. There's not much known about this, but, of course, if you want to ask questions, go bug Hazim about that, but he may uh, yell at you because it's a very, very annoying thing to research I've seen. The kit for the GB2890-1995 TF1 will include, of course, a box, possibly, a fabric carrier seen in the back, a filter, various filters of course, a white fabric or white stock in a hose, a face piece of course, and a possible manual. I believe the hose can also come in black stock in that, but I am not entirely sure. Getting the mask off the head, one moment. There we go. We could see. This mask is a little dirty. I'm not entirely sure what this stuff is, this black stuff. Um, as you can tell, the lenses are much larger in diameter to the SHM series masks. Due to the fact that the Chinese possibly needed bigger uh, vision for their squinty eyes. Sorry. Um, the valve assembly is sort of uh, identical other than the one on the 1995 standard being much darker. Also, the one on the 1995 standard, the crimp, is a gold color, whereas the one on the 2012 standard is a more metallic color. And the O-ring on the 95 is a black O-ring, and the one on the 2012 is gray. You, know, you can also tell that the uh, these little discs inside are different. There's a little uh, dot right in there to hold in that um, disc in there. And the one in here, there is not. 
this one is a size three and it has a much different uh, size stamp to the 2012 snare because this one is much more low quality and is stamped uh, not very well. And this one is stamped right in there. It's pretty well. Um, I really like this one. It's a very, very solid mask. Let me pull the hood over a little bit just to show you the interior. The GB2890-1995 is a very solid mask. I'm very glad to own this. If Hazim ever wants this, of course I told him he could have it. I don't research this kind of stuff. You can see the molding right in there. And as you can tell, the um, TF1 has no way to add optical inserts. Or, not optical inserts, I apologize. Anti-fogging inserts. They have no way to add anti-fogging inserts. To my knowledge. So, you can tell in here. The uh, 2890 uh, 2012 is much more flexible than the 1995. 95 has a little bit of gluing in there going on. I don't see any stamping, of course. It smells wonderful. I'm not sure how to describe the smell. I, I, yeah, I can't describe the smell. It just smells great. The holes on the 2012 are much bigger for the TSA deflectors, or the deflector tubes. There's no gluing going on in there. Also, that little uh, disc right there, that's a little discolored, whereas on this one, it is gray. It's kind of weird. Um, let's move these to the side really quickly so I can show you the canister. These would come with a plethora of canisters. I believe actually the later ones would come with a plethora of canisters. The uh, 2890-1995 ones would usually come with these green ones. This one it says 583G, TF1-IL possibly, 2001, 10. That would normally mean October of 2001, but I'm not sure. The bottom. Very, very bloomed little uh, thing right there. The string around it. And on the top, you see the screw. I'm not going to take that off, obviously. This is completely factory sealed. There is no holes or anything in it. So it, w it may work. Who knows? Oh, never mind. There's a hole right there. Dang it. <laughs> then we have the stock in it hose. Um... Definitely not standardized like the dummy Wasp 93 says. Chinese hoses are not standardized for both NATO and GOST. That is dumb. Whoever thinks that is a moron. They are strictly GOST. China is a commie country. Really nice uh, stocking at hose. Equal to the Russian ones, of course. Maybe even better than the Russian ones. And the bag, it's a factory new bag. It's pretty stiff because, like I said, it's factory new. Um, little button style are right here. Let me open that a little bit. Interior, you can see white. The mask would go right in there. Filter would go in here. Hose would go in here. Standard schlemmy procedure. You can see. I believe they would either have both, or they could have the filter on both sides because there's outlet holes right here for breathing with the filter inside the mask or inside the bag so you don't have it pressed up against the carrier or the uh, fabric carrier. There's a little waist strap right here. I just tied it a little bit right here. I believe I tied it. Then, of course, the Saddest thing about this kit, the box, the absolute imbecile that shipped this to me, shipped this box as the box that they shipped it in. They put the label all over the box. There was a straight label like directly on top of this box. This is a, you don't really see these that often, gas mask TF1 filter IL helmet number M. So yeah, the moron, uh put tape all over the box it's kind of unfortunate but what can you do inside you can see the plastic that the mask was 
put in. I didn't open this. Some the moron that shipped, uh, sold it to me probably opened it like an idiot, like I keep saying he is. Um, yeah, don't open sealed masks, guys. If if they're an M9, if they're like a regular, uh, not lefty M9, you can open it. It, it doesn't matter, but not something like this. Don't open it. Leave it sealed. It keeps it nice. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, I don't, I didn't really have much to go over because I don't have a lot of information on these masks because I'm not an expert. That would be uh, Muhammad Hazim or yeah, just Hazim. I'm not entirely sure what he goes by on anything else, but yeah, uh, thank you to him for the information about the GB standards and of course a little bit of the TF1 history. Uh, that's about it for this, for this video. Um, Hopefully, I'll be going over some other masks today. Oh, like I said, unknown manufacturer. That one on the left, the 2012, definitely Tang Fen. Tang Feng. No clue what this was. who this was made by. Could have been made by Tang Feng, Tang Shan, Shandong, Shangqiu, Tangren. I don't know. Uh, Yihu. I don't think I have this on my... Uh, let me go back through my... It's in 2012 post. I have two posts now. I think I missed something. Uh, that's weird. I missed Yahoo. Not Yahoo. Or Yahoo. Yahoo. W i h u. Y i h u. I I I can't remember. My brain's really foggy from this tf1 knowledge but yeah that is another manufacturer for the tf1 i don't know why i missed that it's y i h u i believe yahoo um maybe i'm wrong i don't know but i i, I remember hold on oh never mind shandong is yahoo y i h u of course um tang shan puda protective products factory shandong ninhyan Ning Yang. God, I, I need to stop. I'm sorry. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Later.